and a privilege for me to join you here uh, this morning uh, for the start of the Somali Heritage Week. It is great to see all of you at this groundbreaking cultural event. I say groundbreaking in the sense that it is a first of its kind to promote and celebrate the tradition of the Somali people to be held here in our capital city, Nairobi. My name is Abdi Nasir. I am a lawyer by profession. I'm the founder and the chairman of Northern Advocacy Organization, an organization that advocates for the people of Northern Kenya, as well as people living in Isli and Nairobi. We are part of the organizers of Somali Heritage Week 2016. The Somali Heritage Week is a cultural festival that um, is on its second year now. This year we're, uh, we split it into two parts. So we have a workshop component and the four-day festival. Um, the workshops were engaging over 50 youth and their objective was to um, engage with the theme of Somali Heritage Week this year which is change and how communities adapt to changing circumstances. So we wanted the youth to be able to be catalysts for change and to be uh, positive, um, positive change makers in their community rather than victims of change and um, we wanted them to be able to use creative methods to do that so our workshops were based in art, cultural crafts, um, literature and social media. We really were so upset about how the, the youth in Italy do have no space. We have seen a lot of the times, you know, Italy is a very populated place and when you look at this there is no public library there is no a place that the kids can play. So we said, let us make us a, you know, from our own responsibility, let, let us create a space for the community. We wanted to really engage what we are doing in the center to, to the outside. So we came and we think, thought about the Heritage Week and we were so lucky to have Henrik Ball Foundation. So we did a bit of sketching, um, then we moved on to canvas and they worked around the theme of unity, collaboration, cohesion, and we worked through the um, ideas um, or things that are affecting them as Somalis living in Kenya, things on religion and police harassment, um, where they live, because most of them live in Isili. Uh, so what we've been doing, I've taken them through a process of understanding uh, the technologies behind and the different the various benefits and downfalls and pitfalls of different social media and how to use them but also I've tried to help them understand some of the psychology of what makes people change their behavior and how you work with them and what kind of things you need to post or not post in order to make a campaign work so what the 16 students Somali youth students have been uh, doing is they've come up with their own, about midway through the course, they came up with their own online campaign ideas and then they've actually been working at it. So they get practical experience of what works, what doesn't work uh, and how to feed a campaign and how to grow a campaign. We have learned a lot about how social media work. We realise that there's a shift from the traditional media to the social media and we have Actually, we are so lucky to get a considerable amount of knowledge about 
how social media works. Um, Jude was my facilitator. Um, she has been teaching us the techniques on um, how to run a good campaign, um, what to look at when choosing a campaign, and she actually taught us um, a lot of things, and I really enjoyed the session. It was really good. I'm happy to attend this workshop. I'm learning a lot of things. Um, it was uh, my first right in subjecting to learn how to make uh, arts. So it was basically very therapeutic for them, I think, because um, you could see um, some of the issues that were very close to them. They were working them out on the canvas. Um, friendship with no religion. So I think you'd see that later on for their final exhibition, which they'll have. Um, and it's been fun for them. It's been very collaborative. They're working in pairs, they're working in groups. So it's part of like a team building process and it was really fun. I've had a lot of fun working with them also. We're holding these workshops for the Somali Heritage Week to train young Somalis from Isili and uh, Somalia on how to produce short fiction. And the point is for them, for all the participants, to have a semblance of a short story or a piece of creative writing by the end of the workshop. I came here today to the Kwani Writing Workshops for the Somali Heritage Week uh, in, in a sense to pay it forward. I'm writing, uh, I write poetry and fiction and journalism and I just wanted to take this time to talk to people who are attending the writing workshop, give them my insights on, on writing, on kind of what it takes, how to leverage your own experience and hopefully be inspiring. And I've learned a lot of things. One of it is that is really motivates me is do your things in your own ways, really in your own ways. And today we have met a young Somali author, Idil. There's no right way to express yourself. There's no wrong way to express yourself. To me, I was very grateful to meet with her. It was such an inspiral to have a young Somali, a poet, a writer. She really motivates me a lot. They are waging a war on terror, a war on drugs, a war on crime. But the worst war of all is the one where the battlefield is our mind. Enjoy the workshop and maybe I'll see you next week. Learn that Somali Heritage Week. We did four different workshops. One was in, in women and culture, and the one you saw, I mean, it was that women were doing four different things, like doing the waving, also doing the embroidery, also doing henna design, also doing and the hair braiding also, all that and also beading. All that thing we wanted to empower them, the youth, and then they really get a job to do that. And we are encouraging all women to really make money and empower herself with hand, her own handmade stuff. And then one day we will reach to have our own small industry of Somali women hand, handmade stuff and then they will really feel uplifting and they'll, they will really make money out of it. We are learning our culture, our traditional tools to save our culture and to show also in society in the globe that the importance of our culture and our tradition. Niki to in a side and in Mutu kama aja soma, aja enda ofisi yake, lazima nipate professional yake ya kufanya kazi. The purpose of this four day festival um, ideally was to engage with the theme as well, to get influential community members to discuss these topics and to build a platform for youth to engage with topics affecting them in their community. Somalis are uh, one of the, you know, some of the outstanding citizens of this country. Very loyal, very hardworking, uh, very um, uh, obedient citizens of this country. And, uh, and, and, and they have really contributed to the progress and development uh, of this country. The Somali community in Kenya is a combination of Somali Kenyans who've been in Kenya for generations and of Som a Somali community that has fled war and have fled 
uh, struggle in their own countries. So the, the combination of the two groups has really brought about a conversation around identity and understanding that there's Kenyan Somalis and they're, they're part of the fabric that creates Kenya. But there's a new group of, of, of Somalis living in Kenya that are also trying to integrate and to live. Every day, every week, Marcus Tabe Udone, every time, every minute, our Malin ELA, every year, every place, what the Adil Kenaba. You are in my dictionary, Aroshat Kotala. Oh, Hori, oh, Hore, hey, I'm a hanty, so I ham over. Oh, Hore, hey, I'm a hanty, so I ham over. What dark a barra, I had a book over to Yala High Wardarka Barra Hadam Boko Horto Yada Hai Skale Balka and Kayo Hodam Ahahano de Behel Dege Balka and Kayo Hodam Ahahano de Behel Dege Wahoi Bari Kayo Gava Hivan Kube Hege Allo Ambidan Show Nuga Be your Chelke Ego Baji Rohdan To Salam Behenaya Inti Bashi Jokti a Garambarka Boydil إلى صبر قضاء هرات بأن لقبي كل هدات بدام سواد بو بجور قرا سيد بالليل دي أنت سماه بوقتك دل بودي بورها سيد سانو بحنا هاي أسوعا بدان قرح يا دولة بارغبا we do the Somali Teach Week to really showcase what we do in the center, like the storytelling, the book fair, the exhibition, the, the programs that are going on because we do every month a forum that we talk about one issue, whether it's about the environment or it's about the culture or it's about the politics. We have a lot of people ومد الصومالية تبلو البوي جوكتو We've had authors, we've had journalists, we've had politicians all come to, together here at Somali Heritage Week to discuss these issues and to create a platform for people to ask them questions and for homegrown solutions, which is really, really what we need as a, as a community in order to um, allow our heritage and our culture to be a part of Kenya's identity as well. <laughs> أو أي حياة دروفة دل كودي أو عن الحين باسبور أي دوكا كمران وحيو كل في إن دتك دبده شوقي هور أي تجي دلك دلك قربها أي يقل فتر كودو نقربه أمانان أو إنتي ونعكسنا ذلك سوقاتان أو أي ناس هو بندقان وحيو كل في دلك مركو بربوري إن دت بدن أو قربها تجي أو سشر عيكو تجي أي صوب بيلين تذكى أي كتهجين أي ذلك شوقي أو يوقع عن تعي كهين مركزهم تي وحكوا كل فيا وحوي يه سدت كاس وحوق بصدين أدور وحوق بصو لكن وي كل دوين تهي مركز أدم رئيس وده الشرعي جاه أيه وده غير الشرعي جاه. MSF is here today as doctors and nurses because we are outraged. We are outraged that this decision to close the camp. Is going to affect hundreds and thousands of lives, leaving them without medical care, 
when returning to a country which is still a conflict zone. And we are outraged most importantly because no other choice is being given to them. Culture is not only, only poetry and music, which is very important. It's also ideas. And to some extent, with the, the gradual stabilization of Somalia, hopefully people can return to their origins much more. Huh? Look back to their culture, because the Somalis, you have something unique that no other people, uh, certainly in Africa, have, which is that common culture and bondage that must be cherished. I think with all of these stories, with all of this rich heritage that you have, it would really be advantageous to work with UNESCO to help protect this, ensure that all of this rich heritage and history is there for future generations. I think the whole purpose was to define and to remind the Somali Kenyans that you are Kenyans not by default, no. You are Kenyans because you belong here. All of the seven, eight countries of East Africa have a 30% quota. The two countries that are, that are not going to meet the quota are Kenya and Somalia. Um, Somalia, 13.8%, I think is the highest ever number of women in Somali parliament. Kenya right now is the highest, 19.1%. Even South Sudan has a higher proportion of women in parliament. <laughs> In the 80s and, and, and 90s, we decided now as a community to virtually integrate with the rest of the Kenyan communities. And I'm sure the fruits of that serious integration, we say history is history, let us be Kenyans, let us be part of the other 41 communities in our country. It's really interesting and a very good program because uh, it brought Somalis from not only Kenya, from Somalia and even non-Somalis because we're trying to embrace our culture and even um, uh, create coexistence and unity to embrace diversity because Kenya has got 42 tribes and it's always good to embrace culture and pass a positive message because it was not only focusing on the cultural aspect because it had panels that were discussing very very powerful uh, topic that uh, is really vital at this era and at this time. This is one way of showcasing and you know demonstrating to the rest of the world that we are also we also have a good content as opposed to what people have been you know saying and that's been trending. And Marco Harajene, a Senate Cassandra, is going to be in Garcia. Allah is saying. Salam alaikum, Ramtala Bracatu, Masham, Hawaii, you have only Mata and Masada and Nasa, and Adi Admumi Kirisi, who have only met, and he did Rakan Kasomali at Ban Unimit, Adi Adwan for Hassan Hanin College, Santi, and Igo, Alfanan Lucy Gale, Adban for Hassan Hanin Kunal Hem Gala de Nairobi. This year's um, Heritage Week has been successful because we have had quite a number of uh, participants. Uh, including non-Somalis non, non who have arrived and uh, seen our beautiful culture, have seen our elegant uh, heritage, and um, I am very much confident that uh, the, the, what we displayed, the artworks, the storytelling in Somali languages, the books, the literature work in it all, will going to shape uh, the history of the Somali community as well as it will going to change the narrative of the Somali community in this country. because. Culture and heritage is something that can bring people together.